Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's in today's video an exciting day because we're going to take a close look at the ROG Alley from ASUS. I must say that I'm looking forward to this product simply because there is finally an official company here going to releasing a Windows based X86 device. And I just wanted to do this unboxing with you. It comes with a custom AMD Zen chip and that is something that is also very interesting where a lot of these devices use their own, let's say, basic chip that we find in different devices like mini PCs. So what are we actually going to get? That is all something we're going to talk about. So first of all, the packaging is very basic, nothing very fancy. Another thing I find very curious, what are we going to get with the comfortability? First of all, 7 inch FHD display, comes with the AMD Z1 Extreme chip, and of course 512 gigabytes of only like storage. A little bit of a bummer, I wish they went for one up to two terabytes. Nevertheless, let's do a quick unboxing together and let's see what we're going to get in the inside. All right, so when it comes to the ROG, I already mentioned this is an official release product. In the previous videos, we talked about different companies in here. It's kind of interesting. We do have this cardboard docking or let's say stand, kind of interesting. They're doing a great job when it comes explaining how you need to connect to charge it. That's something we're going to do, fully charge it before we're going to boot it up. Oh yeah, we're going to get plastic protection. So let's remove that first. Let's see where we need to get this beginning. But what are we actually going to get inside the package itself? With some a &E products, we're going to get even a 100 watt supercharger. And what I understand of this is just a basic kit with a 65 watt charger. So beside the handheld and the charger, we're not going to get a lot. The cable is quite long, so I'm very pleased with that. I need to remove the plastic, but let's take a close look at the specs because this is just a typical 65 watt charger. So far I can see, we cannot remove the plug itself. So this is only for one region. 65 watt is enough, give you a couple of hours for basically charging the device up. But I wish they had like a more deluxe supercharger. Not that we're going to need it for now, because you're going to charge it. Nevertheless, what are we going to get in the other package? Let's take a close look at that. There is no docking whatsoever. With this product, we do get ourselves a very thick manual explaining what and how. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing for much information. Just a quick overview of the product itself. But let's remove the plastic itself. And oh man, how are we going to remove this? It's always like the question, where do I start? Ah, there we go. I completely ripped it apart, so there's no way of bringing that in original condition anymore. Sometimes I just love to keep the plastics, you know. Then I'm going to use it, but there's some like weird thing I'm doing. Nevertheless, let's take a close look at the device itself, because I was really curious how is the comfortability, because this thing weighs quite light compared with the other device I've reviewed. And the first impression when holding it, hmm, feels not bad at all. Nice D-pad, quite a strange D-pad, but nice. Big buttons. Yeah, I'm going to say even some extra shortcut buttons at the back. So it's pretty damn cool if you want to play sh shooter games. Hmm, it's not bad at all. But okay, so what are we actually going to get? Let's power it on. Uh, there is no juice in it. I already mentioned I wanted to charge it, but just want to see if there's any juice inside the machine. But nope. So we're going to first charge it. Okay, let's do a quick peek in the inside of this stand that we're getting. It's kind of cool, but this is just cardboard. Yeah. This is kind of cheap, to be honest. I wish they'd give you a normal docking station, at least for this thing. The next thing that we need to do is set it up. And yeah, you need to get yourself a mouse and keyboard to make this process way easier. It comes pre-installed with Windows 11. And as what I understand of also some Steam, and you're going to get three months of Xbox Game Pass. Beautiful RGB lighting. It looks absolutely great. But again, yeah, let's set it all up because this is a lot of mumbo jumbo. Downloading all of your games. It's just your typical stuff that you're going to get with installing your new mini PC or Windows handheld. 